Hey everybody, I'm coming to you today from my garage. Definitely less spectacular than many other places that I've shot some videos for you guys. But I wanted to talk today just briefly about some really cool fossils. So I grew up in Illinois, and in Illinois we have a really cool site that's Pennsylvanian in age. It's about 309 million years old. It's called Maison Creek. And I recently went home uh, for the spring holiday and turns out I have a whole bunch of Maison Creek fossils. So I wanna talk about these um, and we're gonna do a, a video series about the different kinds of fossils as we open them. So the fossils, when we first find them, look like this. They're iron nodules. Inside of the iron nodule is the fossil. So how does this form? Well, Maison Creek was originally a coal, uh, it's a coal deposit interbedded with shale. So when we see coal deposits, that tells us that that was once a very swampy area. So where I live now in Louisiana, right, it's gonna be one giant coal seam far in the future. Um, but when we see that shale, that tells us sea level rose flooded out the forest and deposited that finer sediment. Now, later on, when humans came around, we obviously like to use the coal. So in the Maison Creek region, what they did is strip mining. So they would kind of take off that layer of shale to expose the coal, dump all that shale in, a, in an area. And that's where you find these, okay, in the, in the shale deposits. So unfortunately, we can't really tell exactly um, where inside of those different coal shale layer beds that these Maison Creek fossils belong, but we do know they, they belong within that interbedded region 309 million years ago. So inside of here, like I said, is a fossil. So what would happen is you would have a little invertebrate or a plant that would die. It would float down to the bottom of the, the swamp and what it would do is the sediment that would be flushed in would attach itself to the biological part and then iron carbonates, siderite, would attach itself around it. So you form this really hard nodule. Now, most times um, people would just take their hammer and kind of chisel these open because you've got a plane of weakness on the inside. Don't mind my little guys playing with the rocks there. Um, but you have a plane of weakness on the inside because of the fossil. So people would hit them with hammers and it would open up and you could find some really cool stuff. Here's one uh, that's been opened. You can see a plant there. It's, it's really, let's see if I can get a little bit closer. It's really quite amazing. Again, remember this is 309 million years old. Um, but in my opinion, what's the best way to do this is to do, uh, help speed up the natural process. So these rocks would be exposed to the weather. In, in Illinois, we get freezing, right? Freezes in the winter. Where we live in Louisiana, yay, no freezing. But in the winter there, it freezes. So what happens is these rocks get wet, right? They freeze, so meaning any water that's in there is gonna go into the little cracks, freeze. And when water freezes, the water expands. So it's gonna expand that, that natural crack that's in there. And then in the springtime, it thaws, right? So over time, these natural little cracks and planes of weaknesses inside the nodule open up. So I have, you can see my little guy there digging through the bucket. I've got about a third of a bucket. Are you saying hi, Henry? I've got about a third of a bucket full of these, oh, full of these, let's see if I can get it better there, full of these nodules. So what we're gonna do what? is, thank you, Henry, is we're gonna take these nodules and we're going to put them in a container and we're gonna put them in the freezer. And I'm gonna let them sit there for a few days and we're gonna thaw them out and see if any open, see what's on the inside. Now what makes Maison Creek really important is Maison Creek is a Lagerstatten which doesn't, isn't just a cool name for maybe a German beer. But what a Lagerstatten is, is it is a fossil site that has incredible preservation. So what's really unique about Maison Creek is we find soft yeah. tissue preservation here. We can find things like jellyfish and worms, all sorts of really cool things that don't tend to fossilize very well. So this is actually a really important fossil site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bucket, kind of parse it out between some pie tins, put it in the freezer back here, and I'll come back in a couple of days, make another video, and we'll take a look at what we see. So till then, I'll leave you anxiously awaiting, hopefully, some arrival of some really great Maison Creek fossils.